You probably heard the rumor on the playground back in the day. If you swallow chewing gum, it'll stay in your stomach for seven years. So is it true? Let's find out. Before we get into what happens when you swallow gum, we need to go over normal digestion of food, which can be broken down into three basic parts. First things first, there's the mechanical processing. Your teeth and tongue work together to crush the food you eat into tiny bits. Throughout the process, muscle movements usher the food through your digestive tract and stomach muscles churn your chewed up food with digestive juices. There are also enzymes in your saliva, stomach juices, and intestines that go to work on this munched up food. These enzymes kick chemical reactions into high gear to break down fats from vegetable oils or cheese, carbohydrates from sugary sweets or starchy pastas, and proteins from meat or nuts into nutrients your body can use. Then you've got the stomach's famous acid. Gastric acid is a mixture of hydrochloric acid and salts in your stomach. This harsh brew dissolves chewed food into a slurry so your intestines can handle it. Whatever's left gets flushed down the toilet. That's how digestion works when you swallow food. So what happens when you swallow not food, like gum? Chewing gum has a few basic ingredients, sugar or an artificial sweetener, flavoring, softening and bulking agents to give the right texture, and the rubber gum base, which makes the gum gummy. Rubbers, whether natural or synthetic, are polymers, very large molecules made up of repeating units. Chemists are whizzes at making all kinds of polymers with various properties, one example is what's known as butyl rubber, which has the ideal chewiness for gum. This synthetic rubber allows us to make chewing gum and even inner tubes without destroying rubber tree forests. Thanks, chemistry. So back to the big playground question. Can gum survive the steps of digestion for years and years and years? So let's go through the steps. First, mechanical. You already know that chewing doesn't crush and shred gum into tiny bits. That's kind of the point. So should you swallow the gum, it'll go down in one big wad. Most of the molecules in gum are carbohydrates, oils, and alcohols. On their own, enzymes break these down just like food. But your body doesn't have an enzyme for the rubber polymers, regardless of whether they're natural or synthetic. Lastly then, stomach acid is strong, but it doesn't dissolve the rubber polymers that gums are made of. In fact, rubber is very good at shielding from acids in general. That's one reason why we wear rubber gloves for protection. So the answer to our question is yes, part of the gum does survive digestion, but no, that doesn't mean the gum you swallowed in grade school is still there. That's because you eat plenty of things your body can only partly digest. Even though you don't break down the rubber polymers, your body has no problem moving that lump of gum through your digestive system and out the other end within a day or two. So this old wives tale doesn't need to stick around any longer. What's your favorite gum flavor? Let us know in the comments. Also include any other chemistry rumors you want fact-checked. And you know everyone else you went to school with wants to know the truth about gum swallowing, so share, share, share. And hey, thanks for watching.